in a city, there was a prosperous businessman. Hmm. His young son, however, was lazy and enjoyed having fun. His son freely spent money and never contributed to household chores. The businessman, desiring to instill a sense of work ethic, called his son one day and said, From now on, you'll only have dinner if you earn something during the day, his father declared sternly. The son, initially confused, took notice of his father's serious expression and pondered the new expectation. Feeling the weight of his father's seriousness, the boy, apprehensive, confided in his mother. Sharing the situation, he expressed his concern. The mother, not wanting her son to face hardship or miss his nightly meal, contemplated a solution. That day, his mother handed him a gold coin. When his father inquired about his daily earnings during dinner, the boy promptly oh presented the gold coin he received from his mother. Upon seeing the gold coin, the father realized the son hadn't earned it. In response, he instructed the boy to toss the coin into the courtyard well. Without hesitation, the boy went outside, threw the coin into the well, and returned mm -hmm. to have his meal. The next morning, the father sent his wife to her parents' house out of town. Upon waking up, the father reminded the boy of the conditions of the night meal and informed him about the mother's departure. Concerned, the boy traveled to his mother's parents' house to check on her. Aware that his mother wasn't there to provide money, the boy approached his grandfather, who handed him some coins. When his father inquired about earnings hmm. that night, the boy handed over the coins he received from his grandfather. Once more, his father instructed him to toss the coins into the well. Without hesitation, the boy threw the coins into the well and returned to the dinner table oh, for his meal. Yeah. Realizing there was no one else to provide money, the father approached the grandfather after bedtime mm. and explained the situation to him. The grandfather understood the situation <laughs> and, the next day, purposely went out to avoid the boy seeking money from him. In the morning, the father once again reminded his son about the condition for the evening meal. Unable to locate his grandfather, oh, no. the boy, with no other resources, ventured to the market in search of work, Help compelled me. by the absence of anyone else to assist him. After some time, a shopkeeper agreed to give him okay. a job. The shopkeeper offered to pay him for 10 hours of work if he carried a trunk mm. to his home. The boy, unable to refuse okay. the offer, toiled away and was drenched in sweat by the time he completed the task. His feet trembled and his neck and back ached from the labor. In the evening, upon returning home, he approached his father and oh, presented man. the 10 yeah. hours he had earned. Yet again, his father instructed him to throw mm -hmm. the payment into the well. Unable to fathom throwing away his oh, hard-earned no. money, the boy, on the verge of tears, refused to comply. <laughs> Sobbing, he said to his father, Father, my entire body is aching. My back has rashes and you are asking me to throw the money into the well. The father smiled and said, one feels the pain only when the fruits of hard labor are wasted. Earlier, you got coins without any hard work from your mother and grandfather, so you had no pain in throwing coins into the well, the father explained with a smile. The son, now grasping the importance of hard work and labor, realized his mistake. He thanked his father sincerely for the valuable oh, lesson he had so learned. Much. Indeed, life often imparts its most profound lessons through challenging situations.